Republican gubernatorial candidate Rick Lazio visited Chautauqua County on Monday. Lazio toured the county's new methane to electric plant, speaking afterward about how he will work to cut the red tape for such projects when elected Albany. The county's methane-fired power plant took several years to be completed and had its roots in the Mark Thomas administration prior to County Executive Greg Edwards. There's no doubt that we'd sure. be creating more jobs if we were quicker to approve different permits. It doesn't mean compromising public safety at all. It means sure. getting to decisions and making sure these agencies, state agencies, work together to deliver an answer to a business, whether it's positive or negative, in a responsible amount of time. What I'm going to do with Greg's help over here is we're going to start asking every agency to post online their turnaround time. And we're going to enlist the public to put some pressure on the state agencies to make sure that we are getting people answers in a responsible amount of time. And if there's a block somewhere, it's because maybe we've got the wrong system, the wrong form, the wrong process, or the wrong person. Whatever the case is, we're going to fix that and open that up so we have complete transparency in state government. Sure. Cutting through that red tape. Cutting through the red tape. Actually measuring performance. That's really the thing. And, and what's exciting about Rick's uh, design on the budget side is when a state agency comes and says, we need money, along with that request for money is going to be an obligation to show what you're doing with it, show its return on investment, and then be able to articulate on the front end what are the benchmarks. How are we going to know these departments are doing what they said they were going to do with the money? And that's going to be published online so taxpayers can follow along because who better to make sure and hold feet, our feet to the fire than the people who are relying on the service. They know what needs to be delivered. They know what's being contracted for. But their capacity to know on the front end where that money's going, what it's going for, that's going to allow them to make sure that there are partners and making sure the folks who work with at the state level are doing what they need to do. It's a great combination. Sure, and that's almost brings up another question. In talking and meeting with average people out on the campaign trail, uh, it sounds like you're going to almost demystify Albany. Do you find that people don't really understand how Albany works or you know what, how things get done? I, mean, I think there, there's a, there is a lot of frustration and distrust around Albany. They look at people that go to Albany and they say one thing and do another. And they're, they're looking for leaders who will do the right thing, even if the, the political consequences are tough. Even if it means that you do the right thing and by doing the right thing you end your political career. People want that, that, that sense of conviction and political courage. And if someone like Greg Edwards epitomizes that. I think so many of the problems in Washington and Albany come down to one word, character. It's the public character of getting the job done and remembering that you serve the public. They come first. And your job should be looking out for the next generation, not, not looking out for the next election. 